friends, today I'm excited to share with you the template to end all templates. This is the tracking plan that we use internally at Coding is for Losers to execute the agency data pipeline service, which is basically the nerve center in Google Sheets that we use to manage, you know, BigQuery pipeline, all of our data modeling, all of our API calls, all of the stuff, right, the, the intangible stuff that you need to do to manage a data pipeline for, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 clients, uh, you can do from this tracking plan. Um, and it really, really pays to get organized and get your act together before you embark on something as audacious um, and kind of ambitious as attempting to organize the analytics for your entire digital agency, uh, which is really a dangerous task. A dangerous job full of diversions, roundabouts, time sinkholes that'll take weeks out of your life, and just plain stepping in dog poo a lot. So if you have the chops to embark on this glorious mission of really wrangling the data analysis process for your entire digital agency. Uh, first, I tip my hat to you. And second of all, uh, there's there's three things that you can do. The first is just watch the rest of this video, copy the tracking plan from the vault and the, the link in the description, um, and just fill out your own tracking plan. Kind of start getting your act together around how are you going to build your, your data pipeline. Uh, the second thing is there's actually a course launching soon, or it may be launched by the time you're, you're watching this video, uh, also link in the description on actually going out and building your own data pipeline. Um, and the third thing is if you don't have time for either of those things, which I totally understand, uh, reach out to us at Coding is for Losers and we can help you uh, build your own t in your own agency data pipeline. Um, so with that, let's dive into the nitty gritty of the template and I hope you can uh, can make this your own and really uh, really run with it and get your process going. There are really three specific jobs that need to be done within a data pipeline. Uh, the first job is this first blue row. So getting the raw data from APIs, whether that be Google Analytics, Facebook Ads, Shopify, whatever it is, getting that raw data into your, your warehouse. So in the case of the Coding is for Losers pipeline, we use Google BigQuery to, uh, to stay within the Google stack. Um, but that's the first job, just loading data. So we do that in, in one of two ways. Um, the first one is, you know, within the tracking plan, you know, these purple tabs here uh, are your kind of action tabs. So you can either pull data from APIs, you know, and we have set up in this, in the uh, Coding is for Losers demo, we have three feeds. We have uh, Majestic Backlinks and SEMrush neither of which are exactly covered by, um, by Stitch or Supermetrics. So we set them up here. And this is just a simple toggle. You can true false and, and pull data in for all of your accounts. Um, and the second thing we do here is we interact with BigQuery. So in this purple tab, you can push, to, um, push data up to BigQuery for any of the tables you've set up in the BigQuery setup tab. Um, or you can query data back from BigQuery. You know, enter a query here, a tab you wanna write it to, um, and get that going from the menu. So again, all, all of these instructions are in the actual BigQuery getting started tab. So we're not gonna go through the nitty gritty here. Um, and there are also additional videos in there for some of the nitty gritty, sorry to use that word, but it's really descriptive, uh, kind of instructions on how to go through those. So that's, that's kind of this quadrant, right? The nightly ETL, uh, in Sheets, you know, you can either pull data into Sheets using our native API connector. You can use uh, Supermetrics, you know, the Google Sheets add-on that we really enjoy. Check them out if you haven't already um, to, to pull data into Sheets here. So like Google Search Console or YouTube in this Coding is for Losers example. Um, that's this quadrant, right? So pulling data into Sheets, pushing it up to BigQuery. Um, the other tool we use is Stitch. So Stitch uh, is really our preferred tool for kind of ETL, extract, transform, load, um, and it'll connect to most services that you're going to want to use. So like Google Analytics, Facebook Ad, Ad AdWords, all that good stuff. 
we also use Stitch for pulling data from APIs and pushing it to BigQuery. Once we have data in BigQuery, um, it's all about data modeling and what kind of SQL queries are we going to write? We use a tool called that called DBT. Let's just crack that open. We use a tool called DBT, which is a Python framework, um, which basically allows you to write SQL queries and deploy them um, as a package to GitHub in a standardized way. Um, and then use a tool called Sinter that the, the team at DBT or Fishtown Analytics also built uh, to allow you to schedule your DBT run. So basically, take all of your raw data that you're pulling in from APIs and translate it into actual uh, metrics that you can then view, you know, in your data studio or whatever you know, whatever end visualization tool you choose to use. So that's the basic data pipeline, you know, workflow end to end. Um, and if you can think about going back to the tracking plan, just think about this is laid out left to right, most abstract to least up to least abstract or most specific on the right. So I'm just going to go through quickly each of the kind of tab groups here and what they do. Ultimately, you're going to have to play around with this, right? It's not, it's, it's a complex thing. Data pipelining is, is a complex beast and planning for it is complex. So fully expect that to play around with this, reach out with questions, um, you know, and kind of make it your own. So these yellow tabs are your kind of indicative setup, right? We like to start, there's a form embedded here. You can just go to live form. We like to start every uh, data pipelining exercise with questions. You know, this could be five or 10 or 20 questions, but the, the questions that the data pipeline is seeking to answer. So we can know kind of what, and we what we do is we fill out this form, any, you know, any number of questions that we need. And then we chunk out the data sources that we're going to need to pull data from, kind of how we're going to pull them, whether it's Stitch, Supermetrics, or an API connector. Um, and then we map out what data models we might need, you know, what SQL queries might we need to write in DBT uh, in order to get, you know, the answers ultimately to our questions. Um, so the green tab, the task summary is just really straightforward project management. Um, just allows allows you to track uh, track who's doing what and what needs to be done. If you want to add owners, task owners, that's just in the in the settings tab at the end. Um, but the bl the blue tabs, like we said, is kind of chunking these yellow tabs, which are abstract, right? Google Analytics is you know one data source, but the data feeds tab is w which specific implementations of Google Analytics. So you could have, you know, 50 different Google Analytics accounts that you're going to connect. You'll want to map each of them here so you can track, you know, track the status and whether it's set up. Um, same thing for, for sites or clients. You know, when you'll, you may add a new client and be setting it up. And then once it's done, you'll want to, you want to know that and you want to link to its, its report. Um, let's see. So like I said, orange tabs are for big query and API setup and the kind of nitty gritty here. We'll have other, other more detailed videos for going through those. The purple tabs are for actually pushing and pulling data around. Um, so those are the kind of action tabs here that you'll use the, uh, the menu a lot for. And then, yeah, after that, it's any, these pink tabs are just raw data that we're pulling in from Supermetrics, but you can do with those as you as you wish, um, and then the red tabs um, are really not not to be touched too much. So this accounts tab just pulls in all of your live accounts so that you can push it up to BigQuery. Uh, this is in here by default; you don't have to use it, but uh, we found that it's really helpful to just have a base table in BigQuery uh, with all of our accounts, so we can do do kind of mappings which which account applies to which site or which client. Um, and then settings, all just indicative settings. The only thing that I think you'll really probably want to touch in here is, is task owners. In column J, maybe you'll add some new data methods, channels, in column H, whatever it is, feel free to, feel free to play around with that. You know, I think ultimately, 
if you want to build out your own data pipeline, you're going to have to really dive deep into DBT and SQL modeling uh, and get good at that. Because I would say building uh, building any data pipeline, about 75% of the work is in writing SQL and you know specifically using using DP, DBT for us. So don't don't be fooled that the the kind of upfront planning and administrative stuff that the tracking plan allows you to do is the bulk of the work. The bulk of the work is in like pure analysis in SQL. So if you want to dive deeper than just like setting up your tracking plan, like I said, uh, there will be a couple links in the description here for you to uh, either take the course and learn how to build models in DBT and all of that stuff, kind of go through the demo pipeline that we built at Coding is for Losers, um, or actually just reach out and we can help you build your own. So I hope you check those out and I hope you found this, uh, this tracking plan useful to your data analysis process.